Hi, I'm Patrick Moyna, and here's your latest news from across the Santa Clarita Valley. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. If you want to save money on your gas, now's the time to take advantage. Less people are on the roads following the stay-at-home order from California Governor Gavin Newsom. Those who are still working or have been deemed essential have noticed a dramatic drop in the prices of gas. Some gas stations in Santa Clarita are even falling under the $3 mark. This is the lowest cost of gas prices in years. And recently, as the U.S. oil prices plunge to below zero, it's only a matter of time before it costs even less to fill your tank. Although many people are out of work because of COVID-19, some still have the responsibility of clocking in every day. Hallie Aragon, an Albertsons cashier, is a part of this group and has seen a changed perspective from others. Most people are really thankful <laughs> and they're like, tell us, thank you for working, thank you for being here. And it's really cool to see that, like that we're not like treated as like second class citizens for once. But Aragon thinks some customers have different opinions about grocery store workers. I think that they see people who work at grocery stores as like lower education, like they're not as educated, um, especially the adults who work there. I feel like people see someone as a cashier in their 50s and they think like, wow, that must suck. But these people are actually, if they've been there forever, they make really good benefits and they can make a living out of it. Some customers have even been nonchalant when grocery shopping. It's just weird how some people's like, yeah, they're acting like nothing's going on. Like they won't wear a mask or they, they won't, like, I don't know how to describe it. They, like, their demeanor isn't the same as everyone else's. On the other hand, Oregon thinks that moving forward, shopping will never be the same. I do think, honestly, that we might even keep, like, the glass screens and, like, we might keep the cleaning people because, like, I feel like it's actually put a dent on, like, our world. Like, if we will never be the same after this, like, we'll go back to normal eventually, but it will never be, like, the way it used to be. If people are hesitating to go grocery shopping at all, Oregon has some reassurance. I think that it is safe to come in the store. A lot of people don't think that about grocery stores, but like we, it's so clean in there. It's the cleanest it's ever been. Safer at home restrictions due to COVID-19 have caused some events to be put on hold, but this hasn't stopped Santa Clarita residents from celebrating their loved ones. A little social distancing party never hurt anyone. If you're like the Nielsen family, this is the perfect time to score big with a challenge on Twitter. Here's Kim to tell us more about how a group of teens are using their time to bring kindness and groceries to others. There is no age limit for spreading positivity, especially in a time like this when the world needs it the most. High school students Zoe Monterola and Eric Luo co-founded a project called Six Feet Supplies that is helping Santa Clarita residents who can't leave their homes get essentials that they need. Six Feet Supplies is a student-led um, zero cost grocery delivery service for those who may lack the confidence or capabilities to do the grocery shopping at this time. These students have made it easy for those in need to log onto their website and follow a few quick steps to complete their order. Using their experience from an after school program known as Global Prep Academy, Monterola and Luo have put together a team of classmates they trust to run the program effectively. One thing that we do want to make sure is that people who join us are fully committed to joining and doing their part. Six Feet Supplies volunteers take health concerns very seriously and follow precautions to keep both themselves and those receiving the service safe. These teens are encouraging others to find a way to deliver kindness to someone else. I would definitely say that you have more agency than you think you do. Like we live in such times, and we have so much generational anxiety just because of everything happening in our adolescent years, but definitely just use that anger and redirect it towards something that you love. For Canyons News, I'm Kim Kryshak. And I'm Patrick Moyna. That's the latest from the Canyons Newsroom. Don't forget to stay updated by visiting our website or social media.